Alex Murdaugh, the once prominent South Carolina attorney, found guilty in the murders of his wife and son. As he starts his life sentence, new details are emerging about a botched suicide attempt just a few months after those murders. We turn tonight to ABC's Jacqueline Lee with more details. Disgraced former South Carolina attorney Alec Murdoch now behind bars after being convicted in the murders of his wife and youngest son. In the murder of your wife, Maggie Murdoch, I sentence you for the term of the rest of your natural life. For the murder of Paul Murdoch, I sentence you to prison for murdering him for the rest of your natural life. Murdoch in court for sentencing on Friday still maintains his innocence. I'm innocent. I would never hurt my wife Maggie and I would never hurt my son Papa. One of the jurors speaking exclusively to ABC says a key piece of evidence was the video placing Murdoch at the scene of the murders. He was there at an adult kennel video which was right before the murders or right before all the activity on the phones went off. During his testimony, Murdoch admitted that he lied when he said he wasn't at the crime scene in the moments before the murders, acknowledging it was his voice in the video. As Murdoch begins his sentence, new details are emerging about his botched suicide attempt in September of 2021. Curtis Eddie Smith, a former client of Murdoch, is charged with assault and battery of a high aggravated nature, pointing and presenting a firearm, insurance fraud, conspiracy to commit insurance fraud, and assisted suicide. She said, I need you to kill me. I said, yeah, that ain't happening. And I figured I was going to try to scare some sense into him. And I shot the gun up in the air. So I know he didn't get shot because I didn't shoot him. He says there was never any mention of a plan for Buster, Murdoch's remaining son, to collect any insurance money. Smith has not yet entered a plea. Jacqueline Lee, ABC News, New York.